I am Key Love Scott. I help uplift, encourage, and inspire others on how to be made in His image and on how to be the best versions of yourselves. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. I'm so happy to have you guys. And for those of you who are already subscribed, welcome back. Today's video, I'm going to be reacting to New Untold History, the hidden truth about the book of Enoch Band from the Bible. So I have had some people in the comment section in some of my older videos asking about the watchers asking about nephilim and why the book of enoch was banned or why it is not included in the bible so we're we're going to watch this and hopefully he can help answer some questions this will too be my first time watching this so let's figure out what he has to say about it enoch is an ancient text that's been the subject of much debate and controversy over the centuries it's a book that claims to be written by the biblical character Enoch, who was the great-grandfather of Noah. The book is not included in the Bible, and for a long time it was considered lost. However, in the 19th century, several copies of the book were discovered in Ethiopia, which shed new light on the book's contents. In this video, we'll explore the hidden truth behind the book of Enoch and why it was banned from the Bible. The Book of Enoch is a collection of five distinct books written between 300 BC and 100 AD. The book claims to be written by Enoch, who was a prophet and a righteous man who walked with God. Enoch is mentioned in the Bible, and he is described as one of the few people who never experienced death. According to the Book of Genesis, Enoch walked with God, and he was not, for God took him. Genesis 5:24. The Book of Enoch is written in a style similar to the Old Testament, and it contains stories, prophecies, and visions. The book also discusses topics such as the origins of evil, the fallen angels, and the coming of the Messiah. The book is written in Aramaic, the language of Jesus, and it's been translated into several languages over the years. The Book of Enoch was widely read and accepted by early Christians, and some even considered it to be inspired scripture. However, the book was eventually banned from the Bible and it was excluded from the canon of scripture. The reasons for the ban are not entirely clear, but there are several theories. One theory is that the book was excluded because it contradicted some of the teachings of the early church. For example, the book describes a hierarchy of angels that's different from what is described in the Bible. The book also suggests that the angels descended to earth and mated with humans, which some considered to be a heretical belief. Another theory is that the book was banned because it was too mystical and esoteric for the average Christian. The book contains several passages that are difficult to understand and interpret, and some considered the book to be too strange and otherworldly. Despite being banned from the Bible, the Book of Enoch has had a significant impact on Christian theology and philosophy. Many early Christian writers and thinkers, including St. Augustine and Tertullian, referenced the book in their writings. The book has also been cited in some Jewish and Islamic texts. One of the most significant contributions of the Book of Enoch is it. Oh, when I was going to church, our pastor often told us that they removed like certain books from the Bible, and allegedly the reason why they removed the Book of Enoch is because it was confusing, confusing a lot of Christians and believers to where you know certain things were contradictory to the overall message of salvation, okay? And so some people would be like, well, how how is it that the Garden of Eden, you know, happened and all of this stuff they're talking about Adam and Eve took place and, you know, all these angels got cast out of heaven, you know, that would make sense reading the book of Enoch. Why? All of this evil took place on the earth being the fact that these angels who were cast out of heaven, they started to mate with like humans and mankind. And then that's when the Nephilim came into play or whatever. And so some people had the like thought process or they came up with the conspiracy that those who had the bloodline of the Nephilim were were the main ones who are ruling the planet to where they have the reptilian bloodline you know and then some people who were obviously we were all born into sin so the only way you could be like washed clean if you were born from like the bloodline of adam is to get saved and so god knew that and so therefore he sent jesus christ who is 
you know, obviously the son of God and um, he cleansed us through his blood because he was without fault. He was without blame and he took all of our sickness, sicknesses and diseases and he bore them and what he did on the cross for us wiped us clean. So that's how you become a new creation, a new creation or a new creature in Christ when you give your life over to Jesus Christ. So people were confused by this theology and they weren't understanding it. So then they completely removed the book because it took away from the main message, which is the simple fact that no matter how you look at it, we were all born into sin because of one man's sin sin entered the world and so therefore all of us are unclean through our blood so because of what our ancestors did way back when we have to have a savior and if you don't have a savior you're unclean you're considered unclean in this world you're considered to be operating in the flesh and so therefore you know we need jesus Others have thought that the book of Enoch was simply removed because things were hidden from us. Like I pretty much stated, like they didn't want us to know about the fact that there are Nephilim individuals who are walking around with that DNA or that bloodline to where they do operate differently to where they are more so like, um, you know, the story of Cain and Abel, the two brothers and all that, how, um, there, they were two different types of brothers, right? So some people, it was just ca causing a lot of confusion where they were like, well, one brother is, actually that was Jacob and Esau, where they were like, well, one brother is like um, holy. He, his mother agreed that like, hey, you should take over the birthright. You know, this should be your birthright. Go trick your father, you know, have him pray over you, yada, yada, yada. And so then he, it was Jacob. Jacob, people were saying that we were born from his bloodline, but some of the people who are more like, have more hair and who are more so hunters and more so love to be in the cold were said to be in the bloodline of the Nephilim, whereas people who are of the Most High God or Hebrew Israelites are said to be from Jacob. I don't know, guys. So that's why they allegedly removed the book of Enoch. You guys can comment your thoughts and opinions down below. Let me know you guys' thoughts on that, respectfully, of, of course. And what have you guys heard about it? What is your thoughts on why the book of Enoch was removed from the Bible? Is its description of the fallen angels. According to the book, a group of angels rebelled against God and descended to Earth, where they mated with humans and created a race of See? giants. This story has been referenced in several other texts, including the Dead Sea Scrolls, and it's had a significant impact on the development of Christian and Jewish demonology. The Book of Enoch also contains several prophecies about the coming of the Messiah. The book describes a figure called the Son of Man, who will come to Earth to judge the wicked and establish a new kingdom. This figure is similar to the figure described in the New Testament as Jesus Christ, and some scholars believe that the Book of Enoch influenced the development of Christian messianic beliefs. In conclusion, the Book of Enoch is an ancient text that has been the subject of much controversy and debate over the centuries. The book contains stories, prophecies, and visions, and it discusses topics such as the origins of evil, the fallen angels, and the coming of the Messiah. Despite being banned from the Bible, the Book of Enoch has had a significant impact on Christian theology and philosophy. The book's exclusion from the Bible has led to much speculation and debate, but the reasons for the ban are not entirely clear. Some theories suggest that the book was banned because it contradicted some of the teachings of the early church, while others suggest that it was just too mystical and esoteric for the average Christian. However, the Book of Enoch has had a significant impact on the development of Christian and Jewish demonology, as well as the development of messianic beliefs. The book's description of the fallen angels and the coming of the Messiah has influenced the beliefs of Christians and Jews for centuries, and it continues to be a subject of study and debate among scholars today. So, that's all for today's video on the hidden truth about the Book of Enoch banned from the Bible. We hope you... I was like, is it just me or did he just repeat exactly what he said the first two minutes of the video? I was just making sure that wasn't me. But I can say it. He literally just repeated exactly what he said and I thought I was tripping for a minute. But yeah, guys, that is literally what 
a lot of people have been talking about over the years, which is at least if you're going to have the Bible, you know, at least give us all knowledge so that we can make our own judgment as to what we believe, which is truth or fake or whatever, you know, like they say. The Bible is the beginning of all knowledge. It is literally the foundation, okay? So then after you get all knowledge and understanding, you can pretty much make up your own mind and kind of decide, you know. But uh, the Holy Spirit obviously will reveal things to you as you move forward in your journey. But I find it very interesting that whenever I would read the book of Enoch, I didn't find it too otherworldly, but... Wouldn't you want it to be kind of otherworldly because we're not of this world? So it would make sense that you would want to know of what else is possibly there, you know? Because as he stated, Enoch, he just, God just came and took him. He did not die. And that always intrigued me because I used to be very, very, very afraid of death growing up. Like I would literally lay in my bed and just cry about it because I was so scared. I just didn't understand how could life, you know, you live life one moment and you love people and they love you and you have all of these plans on this earth and then you just up and you are not here on the planet anymore or the the person is not on the planet anymore. And that really bothered me. So when I came into reading the book of Enoch and then I came across how he didn't pass away, I just wanted so deeply to understand how could that be? Because if he could do it, then I could do it. You know what I mean? But then I come. Then I came to learn that as you are in Christ Jesus and like you give your life to God, that you know you can have eternal life through Him. You know, but He literally did not suffer a physical death. You know what I mean? And I'm still like intrigued by that to this day. But um, I hope that helps a little bit answer some of you guys' questions. Also, you guys make sure like you know. If you see somebody else in the comment section who have questions that you possibly can answer, please help them the best way that you know how. Always pray before you do this. And guys, always study and show yourself approved. You want to make sure that the very first individual you talk to about this is God, our Heavenly Father, okay? Allow the Holy Spirit to answer and to like to help you with any questions that you have always ask the holy spirit to reveal to you and to give you wisdom and to give you knowledge and understanding in his word before you go off and study the bible because it'll help open your eyes to things that you would not be able to see with your own physical eyes you have to be able to see with your spiritual eyes okay in order to do that you always have to ask help from the holy spirit so i encourage you guys to do that i'm still studying it i haven't really picked it up and read it Um, from the first time that I did it, which was years ago. I actually never finished the whole book of Enoch, not because I didn't want to, but just because I had so many more questions and it kind of was leading me down a rabbit hole that I didn't really want to go down. Um, So I think that's pretty much why they did kind of take it out because they didn't want to push people away from God. They actually wanted to move people toward, you know, Yeshua. So instead of pushing people away and leading them down a rabbit hole, they were like, okay, this is causing too much of confusion and too much of a controversy for individuals to grasp. So let's just remove it all together. That's what I think because it kind of did do that to me. So let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel so you can be notified when I do post another video. Make sure you guys like this video and check out my uh, website at www.keylovesgod.com. Get you guys some faith-based apparel. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in another video. Mwah.